Oh, what's going on YouTube land? This is your boy Drizo. And today we're gonna run through a scenario. Now, say you come home, you just get out of your car. I pull my backup gun off, I put it in my pocket, right? Say you notice that your uh, side door's open because this is where I'm gonna enter from, right? Two things. One, always have your cell phone on you, okay? Before you engage, okay? If you know for a fact that nobody is inside of your home, there is no reason to go in that house. If your loved ones are out and about, no one in there that you love or care about is in there, everything in your house that is property can always be replaced. So keep in mind, I'm never teaching someone to be a hero. I don't care if you're Navy Special Forces, I don't care if you're law enforcement, I don't care if you're a self-taught, self-trained professional, right? If, no, if you know that no one is home, there is no reason to ever, ever go inside your home if you see someone is broken in. You immediately get on the phone with 911, you get yourself back into cover, and as soon as the police officers arrive, you have no reason to pull out or go in, okay? You stay right where you're told to, you do exactly what the law enforcement asks you to do. However, if you have loved ones inside of that house, you are the man. This is your responsibility to love, care, and most importantly, protect those that you love. So we're gonna be using a less lethal burner to go through this scenario, right? So you see your door is unlocked. You close your door. Windows are always open over here for me so I can visually see if I see any movement. If I see movement, I'm going to shout out, hey, this is my home, what are you doing? Get out, get out, get out. Never say, I have a gun. Never say that I will shoot you. These are things that can get you into a lot of trouble with law enforcement, even though, let's face it guys, I personally believe that it is your duty and your job to protect your home. And really, if they're in there, I'm shooting them. Beautiful part about Texas, you do have castle doctrine and you do have property laws. Keep in mind you, if someone is stealing property outside of your actual residence, you cannot engage with deadly force unless it is nighttime. But let's say that you clear and you see that no one is in the visible site, right? You're going to move and engage into your house very slowly, okay? You are never going to aim and point until you get to a corner or a wall, okay? So, let's say for example, we've got this door open, right? You hear your dogs, okay? If you still hear your dogs, that means nothing has happened to them. But your dogs will always give you awareness. Keep in mind you, little dogs, big dogs, they always let you know if someone's there. So, I'm obviously clearing straight down hallway. I'm engaging and covering every position that I possibly can, right? Okay, and then once I clear the majority of this kitchen and down that hallway, I'm still going to look at that hallway. Now, keep in mind you, in this house, for example, I have many opportunities, many corners. You see, I have a stairwell right here. I'm going to engage all the way down that hallway as much as I can see, and then I'm going to divert my direction up here, right? Okay, once I divert my direction up there and I see that the stairway is clear, I don't hear noise on the stairway, I'm going to come around while still always looking and checking my straight angles. Okay, I see the door is closed. I don't hear commotion. Keep in mind you, I'm doing this because there are loved ones that I care about inside of my house. This is the only situation where you should engage into a house that has been broken in. Once again, I must stress this enough. Guys, if your loved ones are not in that house, nothing in here is worth your life. But you know that you have loved ones in here, you're gonna proceed forward, right? So I'm gonna clear the open hallways, every cut and every corner, you're going to check at all times. Even while I'm looking down here, I have another cut this way, and I'm gonna keep looking and keep looking, okay? Once again, if you guys have watched any of my shorts or other videos, you know that I never teach you to come as close to the corner as possible. I'm gonna keep myself behind cover and keep closed. Keep in mind you, I just cleared here, so I know it's good, but I'm always gonna give a glance, right? And I'm gonna clear the wide open area while still looking at the room that I have not cleared, right? I'm gonna check my back door. I'm gonna make sure that it is locked, right? And then before proceeding to a room, because I can see minimalist area over there, I am going to check, check, clear, clear. I'm gonna slowly clear, slowly clear, right? I've got a door. I'm gonna peek around the corner, okay? And immediately, right to the open area. Once I go to the open area, I'm gonna slowly clear, step away from the corner. 
Always want to step away from the corner. I know we're clear. Now, once I've come here, I have cleared the majority of the downstairs from entry point of where I saw the door open. And now I'm going to push towards the rest of the house on the bottom floor. The beautiful part about this is this house particular has open pathways. You have open, open railings and I can see everything going on. So if I see any kind of movement, say for example, I see somebody up here, right? I don't have to proceed any further because I do not hear any commotion there. I see the commotion there. I have two options. I can come to cover here because I see them there and try to cover off the walkway or the stairwell, if you will, or, and I personally recommend my best option, minimalize yourself. Because if you see this here and someone's in your house, this is the state of Texas. I have the authority to shoot with lethal force at them. You will not be in trouble because they are in your docile, your domain, your castle. This is why we have castle doctrine. But let's say that we don't see anything up there. We don't hear the commotion. We hear the commotion coming from the office back here. I'm going to push, push, push. Okay. I've got one more entryway over here. I'm just going to glance because I hear the commotion coming from this office. So I'm going to glance. I'm never going to off draw where I hear the commotion. This is the biggest thing that people misunderstood. They think they need to go through every room and be a Navy SEAL, right? They need to clear every walkway, point their gun because they're going to snap back quick. Guys, most of us don't have those techniques. Most of us don't have that level of training. Okay. Where you hear the commotion is where you need to push towards because again, you're only doing this because you have loved ones here. We see that it's clear for the most part. And then we come in here as soon as we engage and we see the person, you have two options. You can say, Hey buddy, I've got a gun. Calm down. Time for you to get out of here. Always give them a chance to leave. There's a door right here. Hey man, you leave right now. Nothing happens. Okay. Because the biggest thing we want, what most people don't understand about people who are two advocates like myself. Okay. Is I do not want to take a life. I believe people become on distress situations. They have issues in their life or they see an opportunity. I do not want to take someone's life, but if you come at me in a threatening way, an engagement in danger, I never, never will question shooting, but that targets there. Let's get them guys. If you want to know more tips and tricks, I really hope you enjoyed this one. I love you. You take care and I will see you in the next one.